Okay, uh, so let's talk about the relational database. So relational database is one type of the database, and I have mentioned that it is has the longest history and um, it also has been widely used uh, nowadays. So most widely used nowadays. Uh, so relational database organize data into structured tables. So you will hear a lot about hear a lot about the structured data. So that means that relational database can only take data that to a predefined a table. And the table is pretty much like, pretty much like the Excel sheet that we have seen. Um, so where that has different columns, a single table. So each single column will be used to save the same attribute. Uh, so for example, this table is talking about the teacher and faculty members. The first column might be the email. The second column might be the name. Okay, and the third column might be the office number, etc. And we have different rows. So each row will use to save the data of one entity or one object. So in this case, it can be a professor. So for example, the first column will be my email, uh, my name, and also my office, etc. Uh, so intersection um, between the column and of the row is called the cell. So cell is a basic unit. Okay, so everything within the cell will be one unit that um, the basic unit, one unit that stores the data. Uh, the database organizes uh, all the data into tables, the relational database, and you can have multiple tables. And the multiple tables can be linked together, so related together. Uh, so that is why it is called relational database. Okay, because multiple tables can be related with uh, together based on the common attributes. Uh, so we will see some examples in the following weeks. And a relational database, relational database has a, a very famous feature which is called ACID. Okay, uh, so ACID is a feature of the relational database. Although the other databases now also follow the ACID standards. Okay, so more and more type of database now follow the ACID standards. Okay, so what does that mean? So uh, the first standard, uh, ACID, the first stand for the um, atomicity. So that means that transactions are all or nothing. So what does that mean? So if you want to insert uh, a record to this table, and you have to make sure that um, all the values for all those corresponding columns are correct, are acceptable, okay? And then all the values will be accepted. So they will be either accepted together or they will be rejected together. So for example, if you have the name that is correct and if you have the email address that is correct, but if you have a an office number that is violate the predefined rules. If you have the office number that violates predefined rules, and then the entire record will not be accepted. So you have to make sure that all the values should be um, acceptable. Okay, and consistency. So consistency is more like that uh, for multiple tables. So for example, like we have a teacher table, that uh, I see I am teaching, um, so I am a professor at an I program. And also we have a course table that multiple professors are teaching different classes. So for example, I340, so I am one of the instructors of that class, okay? And I am the professor of that class. And then if you have to make sure that in the teacher table, you can also find out my record. So I am the teacher in the teacher table, and then I can teach that class in this class table. Okay, 
So if you want to see a random people that to teach this class, and that that um, that person is not in the teacher table, and then the record for that person will not be accepted in the class table. So that is data consistency. Okay. Um, isolation. So isolation means that okay, so uh, we uh, we have multiple users. Um, and one user want to make query about um, this class i three forty. Another user want to make query about another class, let's say i four eighty. Okay, so one user want to get information about this one. Another user want to get information about this one. Um, and those queries will be isolated. And also including transactions. So for example, one user want to modify the record uh, for this i480 and another user want to modify the record for this i uh, for this record of 340 and so actually they have to do those modifications sequentially so that when the user a is modifying this table the table is locked for user a only and once user a has down the modification um, and the table will be unlocked and user B, so the user A, uh, once they have done the modification and then it will be unlocked and then user B can modify the table. So all the transactions will be isolated. And durability. So durability means that the data is saved into a persistent data storage. So it is not saved on the memory or on some other uh, uh, storage, but it is on the persistent storage. So for example, when, the, uh, when you finish the queries, when you lose connection, close connection to your database, your data will still be there. So the, the written data will not be lost. Okay, so data is still saved on the physical storage. Uh, there are also some other features of the relational database. Um, so again, so we have a database. The, the, the major objective is that we want to share data with other users. It can be either, and also with different devices, tablet, cell phones, desktop, laptop, etc. So we have those features. And we will introduce those features one by one uh, in the following weeks. So the first one is called connections, so database connections. So each user can establish a connection to the database and we all recognize the right user, so they will have access, give them permission to access our table. So if they can, they, they have the right access. Um, we also have the normalization rules. So normalization rules will make sure that our data are consistent um, and we will introduce that one in the following week uh, so that we might make sure that we want to reduce the data redundancy so we don't have uh, unnecessary duplicated data. We also have the keys and those identifiers. So those keys and those identifiers are used to, uh, first, they are used to make sure that uh, we can identify each single record in the tables. So for example, I, I, I can identify each single professor in the teacher's table. And we also want to make sure that all the tables can be connected, related correctly. So through those by using those identifiers. Uh, we also have the constraint or triggers or domains, uh, depending on which database you are using. So uh, we are not going to detail about this feature, so you will see the feature in um, this week's lab. So basically, those are some predefined rules that will make sure that you tap the right uh, date. So make sure that only the correct information will be um, accepted into your database. Although we still cannot guarantee the 100% accuracy, but we just want to make sure that we can get as much as possible. Uh, we also have the index. So index is a feature that uh, can speed up the queries. So uh, the database that with the tables with index, the query speed will be faster. Uh, 
It is not only a feature of the relational database, uh, it's also a feature of the non-relational database. So. And also, uh, those features are also pretty much common on the other uh, non-relational database, uh, I think, except this one. Uh, so all, so many, a lot of other non-relational database, they also provide containers, keys, IDs. Uh, they kind of have their own constraints, triggers. Uh, they also provide index. Um, SQL, Structured Query Language, that is unique to relational database. So that is the query language yeah, that uh, you can query the data faster and you can get, gather, collect information out of the database faster, or you can insert data into your database. Okay, so SQL is a, is a very important skill that in data science, machine learning, etc. So we will spend one class talking about SQL.